Hi everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I wanted to show you the brand new collection by Dovecraft. This is called Paper Posies. It's beautiful and I have already started making some things with it. So there will be a tutorial coming later today, which I think you're going to love. And then there's a really, I'm so pleased with Monday's tutorial. You're going to just absolutely love it. So this I was sent by Trimcraft, but I have topped up a few pieces myself and it's the whole collection is available on Craft Stash. And this week, and they have free delivery so it's great if you're in the UK but also if you're outside of the UK because it's a worldwide free delivery so I'm going to talk you through each piece because I know a lot of you like to see this especially if you you're unable to get to stores or actually get to see it yourself it's nice to be able to see exactly what you get now the one thing that I don't have because I don't use it is the washi tape so there is a set of three washi rolls I believe that also come with this as well but you'll see all that in the links below but let me get into this and show you just how lovely it is okay so first of all you've got your wooden frames they always do wooden frames now most of the time they've been squares or rectangles it's really nice that this time we've got these heart shape so you get 12 I'll just show you what they look like so you have three in oh no sorry four oh yeah so you get four of each there we go so you get four in this color here and that pattern really nice then you get four um, in this pattern here and these are great for layering up on the front of cards also for adding on to scrapbook layouts and actually putting a photo behind it they look really really lovely there's some great inspiration already up on the trim craft blog or the craft blog and then you've got that one there with that very subtle kind of gingham print coming through it's really nice so that's those three there to keep them with the wooden theme you also get these ones here which are your six wooden shapes i have two packs because i did get one myself these are beautiful and the reason i've doubled up on it is because i knew i'm going to use go to these a lot and again, just to bring them up a bit closer there, really solid, lovely decorations. Now, you know, depending on what kind of crafting you're into, it might not be paper craft. You could very easily attach, you know, with a small hole through there, if you've got those very, very thin um, drill bits, and you could make that into a necklace. You could also make it into some earrings, you know, so think of, you know, other ways of using these it doesn't just have to be on your paper crafting and um, I think they would make lovely embellishments put a pin on the back have a pin badge you know um, a brooch all that kind of thing so you can certainly you know use these to make really nice gifts and then use the papers to make the packaging to put it in so um, I just love them I think they're absolutely beautiful love the colors throughout this and also the prices are really good Dovecraft the, the price points are always really good for your embellishments and stuff like that, the paper pads. Um, it's just really good prices. So have a little look online because some of them, you know, are like £1.50 and things like that. So it's, it is good. And then they spoil us because we also get these, which are 16 wooden shapes. And these ones, do they just say with love? Let's have a look. So, ah, that's really nice. I've not seen that before. So we've actually got three with, with love. Oh, no. So these are all with love on this side. Okay, I get it. They're just all that front right there we go so you get half with with love okay and then it looks like the other half is plain so these here and i've done this before but you can add if you stamp versa mark over it and then sprinkle your embossing powders heat set you'll make really nice um you know metallic looking embellishments and uh yeah they look great you can also use your alcohol markers on them you know ink them up paint them all that kind of stuff so that's yeah that's nice that they've done you know half and half so you've got the option to actually be able to do what you want on them as well then we get wooden pegs so you get 35 mini pegs but you've got two different sizes you've got the slightly larger one there and then you've got these smaller ones and a great they're just nice to add onto the front of cards or to use on scrapbook layouts or if you're making some home decor you might have like a shadow box frame you can have pegs hanging and then photos hanging from the pegs there's some really nice ideas if you go onto pinterest and pop in you know um peg DIY and you'd get loads of ideas but again really nice addition to add with the, the collection here. Then I picked up two of the bunting packs. I always use the bunting all the time. It's on everything. I used it with the um, oh what was the garden one that we we done last year with the little I'm looking up at it now my bird box and my little she shed all those kind of things I just love the bunting so I did pick up a extra bag and you get 60 mini bunting and twine and all of the prints will be the prints from the paper pad as well so I love those 
then these ones here so you've got your 16 paper flowers I didn't need to get more of this because I have a lot of these paper flowers and I've got other colors that would work well with this collection as well but they're always a nice addition to have and then also the adhesive pearls you get 91 and you'll get all your colors there to complement the collection so again really nice love those then I've got these again doubled up because I will use them a lot and they are the puffy stickers they're really lovely then um, once when I show you the decoupage kit it's basically the decoupage kit but in puffy stickers so all the toppers that you get in the kit they've done in puffy stickers and I love them really really nice and again just give some nice dimension to your projects love the you know the designs and you know the little something there and for a special friend lots of love you know you can put happy buff happy birthday and then ha it will have lots of love inside or something so yeah really nice and also I forgot to mention this is another collection that's um supporting the mind charity so I can't see the sticker on the front but I know in the past they would donate a minimum of £10,000 um, so I imagine that there's going to be some form of donation you know um, that comes from the the sales of this collection will be going to that charity so that's really nice and I've got some ribbons here so this is five cotton ribbons I've got a few of these from the other collections and they are nice it's nice to have that real fabric ribbon just for you that one just says you're lovely and then you've got the hearts some prints and some flowers there so it's nice some more mini bows these are perfect especially if you're lazy like me and you don't always like to do the bows yourself um, especially when they're this small it's just ha it's just handy to have but I love that it's you know that orangey red really really nice um, in that color there and then you've got the the lighter blue there as well so you get 20 mini bows these I love oh gosh these were just so nice these are your flower sequins it's 20 gram bag and they you can sew with them as well so they are proper stitch um proper sequins but I just love the color it's like a pinky mirrored rose goldy kind of you know what I mean I don't know it's just like it's not rose gold it's more of a pinky gold it's just gorgeous absolutely love these so I can't wait to use those and we've got the buttons we always get buttons in Dovecraft collections so you've got 16 wooden ones here and again you can see probably that side's better for you to get an idea of all the prints again they're the same prints that within the paper pad um, so they're going to match and work really nicely and I picked up the stamp set really liked this one I was drawn to this cute little gift tag which is going to work perfectly on the back of you know tags <laughs> but also I like this one here which is like your Polaroid and then you just have this lovely one with the um, again it's taken all from the toppers and and the decoupage and stuff nice love one there and I like this little um, like banner on the side just thought they were really nice so yeah and I think they're going to look really nice heat embossed I can see a lot of this you know with my silver embossing powders so I think silver is going to work really well with this collection oh I I'm wrong there's another wooden um, embellishment so this is I didn't yeah definitely not showing this one this is your like little tags so you can put some ribbon or twine through there and then you probably could stamp with the stamp let's have a little look yeah you could there's no reason why you can't stamp that on the back of this tag so what a lovely tag to have on a, a, a gift a nice wooden one and uh yeah i just think they're again very cute they're all the same design just with that with love so i like those a lot i picked up two well i had one of these and then i um i got an additional one and these are your sentiment toppers so there's foam on the back of them and you've just got a variety of sentiments there but i just thought again very cute and something that i will use um you know a lot so it's always worth getting the extras and because they're such good value for money you know I don't mind then I got these ones I adored the ones from the fairy tales collection last year so that I'm glad that they've done them again and these are your six shaker stickers and um, they've got lovely little silver hearts in the middle and the top one's just a plain heart and then the next one says lots of love and then the bottom one is that rose I think out of the whole collection it's this rose image that's my favorite it's just yeah really really lovely and then we move on to probably my most favourite thing in the collection and that's the decoupage pads. I rave about these every time they bring one out. I just love them. I've loved the Christmas ones in the past and just all the other ones that they've done. So this one was, um, yeah, just, oh, it's just so, so nice. Sometimes there's like maybe the odd page that I'm not drawn to so much, but this one, I just love them all. And um, I show you them all in one of the tutorials coming, but I will flick through the pages so you can see. But like I said, you'll see them made up um, in the next few days. So you get this one here 
Um, for anybody that doesn't know about decoupage, decoupage just means to layer. So there's a, a few forms of decoupage. There's decoupage where you rip paper and you just decorate like different objects and furnitures and things like that. And um, and then there's this decoupage where you punch, or well punch, you, you kind of cut these out. They're pre-cuts, you just pop them out, sorry, on foam pads and you layer them up on top of each other and they make beautiful toppers. And they've numbered them. You always start with the largest first and then you put the second one, you know, second largest and so on until you're down to the tiniest ones. So it would be number five. They would be the last ones to stick down. It's really, really nice. I love doing these. Um, they just, when you give them to someone, it just looks like you've spent hours cutting it all and designing it all up when actually all you've done is pop them out and put some, you know, foam on the back. So it's, it's great. So you've got that one there. You get three of each design. Then you get this one here. I've used this one. It's beautiful. Really, really like it for a special friend. And you always get extras as well. So they're great to, you know, put in cards or inside the cards and things like that. Then this one here, happy birthday. Love the colors of that one. This one here, so it's a tag, a little something. And again, these are all extras. So you you know, that you can put them all on a card or put them on the gift box and then there's your tag to match. So, you know, it's all gonna tie together really well. Another tag. This one here is my favorite. Just love it, absolutely love it. And you get two extra toppers there, so you get the hello or lots of love. This one. You can make two from this. So here's one here, and then two and three, and then you've got one and two and three. So really nice gift tags. You actually can make, that. you get six of those in this pad. And then we've got this one here. Really like the heart. And again, you'll see all of those made up in the coming days. And then finally, the paper pads. So I've got the 12 by 12, and then I also went and got the six by six. I will show you the six by six closer, because it's the same as the 12 by 12, they're just blown up. In case you always get an overview on the top, also keep this because it's, you know, you can use like the strip there that makes a nice decorative kind of edge on a card or something. So you'll see, there we go, it's this one. Then we have this one here. These are great background ones, really are. With those toppers on top, it just, honestly, when you see the, the projects that I've started doing, I just, it's just so easy to create with. And then we've got this one here with the blue background and the hearts. This one, oh. <laughs> and this is on Monday's project. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with it. I want this as like a wallpaper. Oh gosh, yeah, amazing. And then, <laughs> then we've got the one that just says love all over. So great for Valentine's. Get that one used now. Um, and we've got that blue rose. Um, then we've got the similar kind of print, but it's just smaller, more individual um, flowers there. Gingham. Just brilliant. I actually have a like a little kind of um, file just full of gingham papers um, because they work with just so many projects and I find I use them a lot with like my Daisy May stamps. There's that one. And then this one I really like. Again, this is featuring on Monday's tutorial. Got the like a, yeah, again, it's like a wallpaper effect really. With all, and then this one here, really nice. Again, love that style. And then finally, on the back, this one. Again, they've got a real kind of vintage look to it. So I was, yeah, very drawn to that one. So that is the six by six, but like I said, it's exactly the same for this in the 12 by 12. And because it's paper, it makes beautiful envelopes as well. So it's perfect to, you've made your lovely card and then you can have the matching envelope as well if you need to custom them. So those are the papers. Okay, so there is the full collection. Like I said, the only thing that isn't here is the washi tape. And I don't, I think I have got everything. So if there is something I'm missing, then let me know, because I want to get it. <laughs> but I adore it, I really do. You know, I'm a huge fan of Dovecraft. I will only share with you product that I really enjoy and I think you will enjoy as well. So I know a lot of you are going to rush out and get this <laughs> because you're like me. Um, I know that the range also stock Dovecraft, but I went into my local range the other day and I didn't see this in there. So that's why I, I purchased mine additional pieces from Craft Stash and they do have the whole collection on there. So again, I will link all of that below and they also have it on Amazon as well. So if anybody prefers to shop on Amazon, I'll share those links as well. But I hope you like it. I really hope you enjoy the two back-to-back -back kind of tutorials using this collection because I think it really shows it off well as well. So thank you as always to Trimcraft for sending me this product. I love you all and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. See you later. Bye.